that's number one and two, three and four, yeah. Here's seven and eight. Five and six out. So I've removed the caps. There's number six. I've rotated the crank enough for it to be loose. The bearing out of the back of number five here. And then I'm gonna run some shoelace around a piece of sandpaper several times on this and just rock it back and forth to give a light sand. And I'm gonna lightly oil the crank surface. I've got the sandpaper, I think it's 800, around the, uh, the crank journal. All I'm doing is gonna just back and forth with this. You see it sands it. I sort of slid it up behind. I, this is like a thick lace of sort. And um, that should evenly sand this whole area. If I had two hands, I'd be a bit neater with it. Take the, the strap off. You see it's taken a thin layer off. Now I'm going to blow air up these holes on the crank journals. I've sanded that surface down a little bit. Might give it just a light, a little bit more. I'll turn the crank and get number five sanded a little behind there. And I uh, should be able to turn the crank into position and put the new bearings on. I'm doing two at a time. Sandpaper to do the uh, these faces with. I have to get the crank turned a little to get into there. And I'll be doing this for all four sets. Put some assembly lube. That's what I'll be using.